Welcome back to Guitar Search Saturdays. This is episode 33, shot at Pro Music Tools, located in Munich in Germany. Rick and I drove around for probably an hour looking for this place. We must have gone past it a number of times and we totally missed it. That's because there's no signage out the front. This is a specialty shop and if you're ever in the city of Munich, I can highly suggest going to check this out, especially if you're a fan of Music Man electric guitars. There's a famous saying, never judge a book by its cover, and it couldn't be more applicable in this particular case. The fact the shop wasn't covered in cookie cutter posters gave off the vibe that we're in for something a little bit different and unique, and we absolutely were. One of the great things about Pro Music Tools is the fact we're about to see stuff we haven't seen in any other shop up until this point, and Rick actually gets to play some as well, which is awesome. A massive thanks to Alexi and Rick from the shop for allowing us to come through. We really appreciate it. They were really welcoming. They just said, have at it, film whatever you like, and it's a pleasure to have you. So thank you so much, guys. If you do enjoy Guitar Search Saturdays, please give the video the thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Save it to your favorites, and if you'd like to watch more, I'll leave a link up in the cards to the entire series. Let's go in and take a look. Instead of starting with guitars like I always do, I thought I'd mix things up and we'd start with the amplifiers. This is the Marshall JMC 2550 Silver Jubilee amplifier head. While you would assume this is either a 50 or a 25 watt amplifier, that's not actually what the 25 and 50 represent. The Silver Jubilee amplifiers were launched in 1987 to celebrate 25 years of Marshall amplification and the 50 years that Jim Marshall was in the music business. So you would think it's a power attenuation thing, but it isn't. These are a 20 watt amplifier that can also be dropped to 5 watts. Here's another high-end amplifier, this is the Mesa Boogie Mark V. This is essentially nine amplifiers in one. There's so many options, so many channels, and lots of different things you can choose from with these particular amplifiers. For me, it's maybe a little bit too complex, but I'm sure you can get a pretty rockin' sound. Look at that cab, it is a beast. It's great to see a store that still has a live demo pedal board available in shop instead of having to go behind the counter, grabbing one out, hooking it all up, all that kind of stuff. This is great. I wish more shops still did this. Cue the PV Anthem. PV. It's been quite some time since we've seen a PV amplifier on Guitar Search Saturday, so I had to stop and play the anthem and also just make a quick comment. Even up until this day, Classic 30s are a really solid amplifier, and they're loud enough to do most gigs. 30 watts is plenty, especially when you're talking valve amps. Every time I see one of these Digitech whammy pedals, I can't help but think of Gear Man Dude's video from several years ago. It's absolutely hysterical. He plugged it in, <laughs> couldn't comprehend what it was that this pedal was trying to do. It's really worth a watch. If you haven't seen it, I'll leave a link up in the cards. While there's a million great guitars upstairs, I really wanted to show everybody downstairs first, and then we'll come back up and take a look around. This downstairs section is awesome. No natural lighting, just a staircase that leads down to even more electric guitars. I love it. 
If you're a huge fan of Ibanez guitars, you'll definitely get a kick out of the range at Pro Music Tools. I gotta say, I'm really impressed with the quality of the finish on a lot of these Ibanez electric guitars. They look really, really great. Please remain calm. We have our first official lefty sighting. What you're looking at in the center is the LTD EC401 electric guitar. One of the cool things about this particular guitar is the fact that it's got EMG 8160 active pickups. You know what? I have to try some active pickups at some point in my life. Michael Burks used them and he was a blues guy. I'm gonna have to give him a shot. <laughs> Like I mentioned at the start, this is a specialty shop. Nothing but Sir and PRS are filling this section of the wall. How awesome is this? Rick was already downstairs with a PRS McCarty 594 electric plugged into this beautiful cream colored PRS amplifier. Let's see how it sounds. Here's an amplifier that's actually brand spanking new. The interesting thing about this PRS Paul's amplifier head is the fact they were released in 2013. So I don't know if this is new old stock or what the story is with this. I haven't seen these anywhere before, and I guess that's kind of the beauty of Guitar Search Saturdays. We get to find stuff we've never seen before, and Rick had never seen one of these either. If you know more about these particular amplifiers and whether or not they're still getting made, please post in the comments below. One of the cool things about Pro Music Tools is the fact they've got so many USA made guitars. This particular model is called the Hamer Monaco. It's a single cutaway, it's got the flame maple top, we have the mahogany neck and body, as well as an ebony fretboard. This top really holds its own with Gibson, PRS and a number of other USA made guitars. Please let me know in the comments what you think of this particular top. If you're into music band guitars and basses, you've come to the right place. Pro Music Tools is Europe's number one dealer of this particular brand, and they also ship a whole lot of these out of the country as well. It's a real go-to destination for music band instruments, and you're about to see why. This beautiful looking music band is the John Petruzzi Artisan Majesty 6. One of the most interesting things about this guitar is that it has a laser etched flame maple top. I don't think I've ever seen another guitar with that. There's so many nice music band guitars at this store. I'm gonna shut up for a sec so you can check them out.
it's probably pretty clear now why this particular shop is Europe's number one dealer of Music Man electric guitars and one of the top globally. They've got just about every guitar that's currently available in stock. This is crazy. I've never seen so many different types of finishes, colors, pickup combinations, and styles of Music Man guitars anywhere in the world. Speaking of Music Man guitars, Dr. Brick actually just picked up a Music Man Cutlass. Let's see how it sounds. So it's got that um, active hum cancelling circuit in it. That's what, oh, here. That's what the battery compound is, yeah. <laughs> As you can hear, it cleaned up beautifully with the volume control down, it's strat toned for days, and it sounded pretty wild with the volume control up. Let us know what you think of the tones. As you can see from the video, there's so many great guitars and basses downstairs. This section of the shop is absolutely stunning, but I thought it might be time to head back upstairs and show you what you haven't seen just yet, more great guitars. Let's go up and take a look. This acoustic wall is pretty cool. We've got some budget-friendly options as well, including Court, Ibanez, and Tanglewood. Here's an acoustic guitar finish you don't see every day. This is an Ibanez acoustic with this sort of blue and teal kind of look. Interesting stuff.
I always like being surprised when I see guitars from all over the world in one location when I'm over the other side of the world. This is the Godan Summit Classic. Very reminiscent, I guess, of an LP or Les Paul style electric guitar. The shape is a little bit different. One of the main differences is though, this has one tone control and one volume control. I much prefer this over having four controls on the front of any guitar. Godan isn't a brand I see a whole lot in Australia, but I have run into it quite a bit while I've been in the USA. <laughs> What you're looking at right now is a mix between the FGN or Fujijin guitars which are made in Japan and some more Sur guitars. For those who don't know the history of Fujijin, they actually started making guitars way back in 1960. It was only recently though that they established themselves as their own brand with this particular name. Pretty cool, huh? They supplied a lot of OEM guitars to the rest of the world. That's when I saw these. These are Ormsby guitars. These are made in Australia. I had no idea these even existed. These might be some of the most unique looking electric guitars of all time. Check out everything about them looks like it's on an angle and off-centered. While these aren't my type of guitar, I can definitely appreciate where they're coming from in terms of their design. They're doing something very, very different to a lot of other guitars you see in shops anywhere. One of the great things about Guitar Search Saturday is finding guitars I've never seen anywhere else, and this is no exception. Eggles guitars have actually been used by artists such as Brian May, Bruce Watson, Bill Nelson, and a whole lot of other guys, including Rory Gallagher. One of his guitars sold at auction for 25,000 pounds. That's a whole lot of money. My own guitars and basses are made in Poland and I've never seen these anywhere in the world up until going into Pro Music Tools. It's great to see a selection of guitars that I haven't seen anywhere else in any part of the world. I think that's the awesome thing about Europe. They tend to have other brands that aren't as common in the rest of the world, which I think is fantastic. Now, some of these guitars are production models and you can see they've got very similar finishes. For example, those green guitars, but there's other ones that are unique to those particular guitars and you'll never see that top again. Pretty wild. If you're a hardcore Japanese guitar fan like I am, odds are you know a little bit about this. This is an Edwards. It's actually made at the ESP factory in Japan. It's a Les Paul style electric. Check out the top. The satin finish looks beautiful. I only have one question to ask. Is eight strings enough? <laughs> And 
that wraps up another Guitar Search Saturday. So a huge thanks to Pro Music Tools for allowing us to come through. I really appreciate it. If you want to check out their online shop, I'll leave some links in the description below. Pro Music Tools, like I mentioned, is the largest distributor of Music Man electric guitars in Europe. So we hit the jackpot with this one. If you're into Music Man guitars, please let me know in the comments below as well. For me personally, it was great to be able to find guitars I've never seen in any other shop anywhere around the world that I've been prior to this store. I think that's awesome. Definitely check them out online. Like I said, all links will be left in the description below. If you made it this far, don't forget to give the video the thumbs up. I really appreciate it. It helps the series. It helps the channel grow. So thank you so much, folks. And I wanted to also thank all the Patreon subscribers for their continued support. If you'd like to jump on board, I'll also leave some links in the description below. We have one more episode from Germany, so stay tuned for that. If you're not already subscribed, please do so and click that bell and you'll get a notification when the video goes live. Thanks again for watching. My name's Shane. Have a good one.